Hello everyone, welcome to another video of the series in 50 days, 50 questions. I hope your preparation is going well. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. We are on day number 32 in this series. So, this uh, series, if you haven't watched the previous videos, please go and watch it and get your concept clear. This is very, very important for RBI DPI phase 1 examination. So, the question for today is, I have brought a similar question which actually came um, in the last year, uh, 2022 examination also. A question very similar to this question was there in the exa actual examination. So let's look at uh, this. So in this question, basically, you have to find the correct regression uh, coefficient. Okay. Uh, in the exam, there was a question on finding the correct uh, correlation uh, coefficient, something like that was there. So it's, it's a similar thing only. You should know how to make the adjustments in the values. So the question says that for a set of 20 pairs of values y and x, the regression line of y on x is given. Okay, so why we have the regression line y on x. So this means we already know that the y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. This is given by x minus 2y plus 12 equals to 0. And the mean and standard deviation of x being 8 and 2. So x bar is 8, standard deviation of x is 3. Then later it is known that a pair y is equal to 3x is equal to 8. Okay, this pair is run really recorded. And the correct pair is y is equal to 8, x equals to 3. The interchanged values were incorrectly recorded. This is the correct pair. Now you have to find the correct regression coefficient. So you have to find b y x the correct b y x right and n is 20 here 20 pairs of observations are there so for these 20 pairs of observations we know this is the value now let's do it see b y x is what what is the regression coefficient formula covariance between x and y divided by the variance of x right so as you know the correct covariance value and if you know the correct variance value they can you can just plug it in and find the b by x value now what is the old b by x value so you rewrite this equation in terms of y on the left hand side and everything on the other side so you have what you have 2y is equal to x plus 12 you have y will be equal to x by 2 plus 6 so this tells me that my b by x value is half. But this is not the correct value actually. This is recorded based on the incorrect value that was taken. So now I have to find the correct b by x value. So first what I will do is I will first find out what is going to be my correct mean. Right? So from this old mean, I know x bar is 8. This means that sigma x by n is 8. What is my n? n is 20. Right? So what is my sigma x value? 160, 8 into 20. Right? Now what is going to be my sigma x corrected value? Corrected will be for this I have to what, deduct 8 from here and add 3. Right? Because 3 is the correct x value. So what is it I am going to get? I will get, sure, I get 155 as the correct sigma x. So what is going to be my corrected mean? It's going to be 155 divided by 20. The number of observations will remain same. So 155 divided by 20, this is going to be 7.75. This is my corrected mean, right? Now what do I need? I need the correct y bar also. Right. So from the regression equation, I know that x bar y bar also satisfies this equation. So y bar is equal to what? Y bar is equal to half x bar plus 6. Right. Now what is my old y bar? It is going to be half, uh, plugging the value of old x bar here, which is 8 plus 6. So 8 by 2 is 4. 4 plus 6 is so my old y bar is 10. Now I need my corrected y bar, right? So for my corrected y bar, again, I need what is sigma y, right? By n, which is 20. So sigma y will be 20 times 10, which is 
200. Now, corrected sigma y, how will I get? This is going to be 200, right? Minus 3 plus 8, right? Because this is the wrong pair. So, I deduct it. So, what do I get? I get 205 as my corrected sigma y. So, my corrected y bar is going to be 205 divided by 20, which is going to be 10.25, right? These are the values that I have. Now, what else? What all things do I need to calculate? Next, I will calculate my covariance, right? <clears throat> so, first I need my old covariance. Then only I can calculate the correct covariance, right? So, the old covariance is what? Covariance x, y, right? We know that... Uh, the old covariance, in order to find this, we will use the old PYX value, okay? The, the corrected one we have to find, but using the old PYX value, I can write as BYX is covariance XY divided by sigma X squared, right? So using this, I can find my old covariance to be BYX times sigma X squared. Right, but for this, I also need my old uh, sigma x squared, which I have. Right, sigma x I know. so sigma x squared is c. Right, so use this. So I have b y x what as half old one. Use this into four. So I have two as my old variance. Now again, what am I going to do? I'm going to find my new. Uh, uh, this value. <clears throat> so for new covariance, so, uh, I also need uh, to know what is the correct uh, sigma x y, right? So what am I going to do is I am going to find out what is it. So sigma x y by n minus Sigma x by n into sigma y by n is the formula for covariance, right? Which is equal to 2. I've just found out. So now I'm using this. I'm going to find out what is the cross product of sigma x, y. So sigma x, y by 20 minus sigma x by n. What is my old sigma x by n? That is my old x bar. It is 8, right? What is my old y bar? Old y bar was, where have I calculated old y bar? It is 10. So 8 into 10 is equal to 2, right? Now, solving this, I'm going to get sigma xy to be equal to 1, 6, 2, okay? Now, I need my corrected sigma xy. How will I get this? 1, 6, 4, 0 minus 8 into 3, right? Which is 24 plus, again, 8 into 3, which is, it was corrected is also 1, 6, 4, 0. Okay, there is no good. Not going to be any change in the corrected one. Uh, right? <clears throat> now, once I have the corrected uh, sigma x by cross product, I have this corrected, I have also the corrected means I can find the correct covariance. Right? So, I, one part of the problem is already done. I can find the correct variance. Now, let's come to the corrected variance. So, I know the old variance. Right? Now, using that, I need to do find the corrected variables also. So, remember, this is my uh, 1640 is my cross product here. Right? Now, let's see what are all things I have. And uh, so, so, let's find out the corrected, uh, this four variables. Okay? So, covariance xy corrected will be what? Sigma, it is the formula is sigma xy by n minus sigma x by n into sigma y by n. Right? I found the corrected sigma xy, which is 1640. n is actually 20. It does not going to change. Corrected x bar is what? 7.575. This is what we found out. And corrected y bar was 10.25. Right? 
Now I'm going to solve this. I have 82 minus 79.4375, which is going to be 2.5625. This is my covariance. If covariance is 2.5625, this I'm going to use it, right? In order to find the regression coefficient. Now let's find the corrected variance. Okay. So for that, what am I going to do? See, variance formula is sigma x square by n minus x bar whole square, which is 4. The old variance is given to me, right? Standard deviation is given to which that means the variance is 4. So now using this, I have sigma x square by n is 20 minus old x bar was 8. So 8 plus square is 64. I can write this equation now. So from this, I have sigma x square is going to be if you solve this, you will get 1, 3, 6, 6, 0. Okay. Now, corrected x bar square, like corrected x square, sigma x square is going to be 1, 3, 6, 0. Right. And in this, I'm going to deduct 8 square. Right. Because 8 is the wrong E recorded. So, an upper. And I'm going to add 3 square. So, I have 1, 3, 6, 0 minus 64 plus 9. Solve it and you get 1, 3, 0. Now I have corrected sigma x square. I can find the corrected variance. Corrected variance is going to be sigma x square corrected will be use this formula, same formula again now, but with corrected values, right? So sigma x square by n is 1, 3, 0, 5 by 20 minus what is my corrected x bar that we found out? x bar was 7.75 corrected square it right so when i do that i get 65.25 minus 60.0625 solve it you have 5.1875 okay so i have the corrected variance now i have the corrected covariance Divide the two to get the correct regression coefficient. So what is going to be b by x? b by x is going to be 2.5625 divided by 5.1875. Okay. And when I divide this, what am I going to get? I get 0 0.496. This is my correct regression coefficient. Okay. A pretty lengthy question, but you should know step by step all the formulas. And you can clearly solve it, right? So let's look at the options. Options are given here. So the right op option is option B, 0.494. Okay. For more such questions, keep watching the playlist and attempting uh, them off. These are going to be really, really helpful. And if you have any query, just call us. Thank you.